We were talking last time about the timeline technique. So the timeline allows you to see contrast throughout a story and it allows you to visually see how your story ebbs and flows. And to make sure it does ebb and flow, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to identify a one idea. The one idea is the most important part of the entire process for creating better nurture emails. So if we have a look at the timeline for the story that I told at the beginning of this series about how I found Infusionsoft, my one idea, so the one idea is where you take a look at the story and you distill the story down to one single idea. So generally this should be a single word. If it's not a single word, it should be a very short phrase. So my one idea from the story was about the importance of CRM. The one idea is completely subjective. You might watch the story or listen through to the or, or listen through the story and come up with a completely different one idea to me, and that's completely fine. The one idea is like a photographer taking a photo of a subject. One photographer will take a photo from one angle to emphasise a certain element. Another photographer will take the photo from a different angle. And that's exactly how it is with the one idea. The important thing about the one idea though is the one idea is always at the end of the story. So if you listen back to the first video, the story ends when I say the words that it wasn't about Google traffic. Google traffic isn't important. Conversions aren't important. What's important is CRM and the importance of the database. That was the end of the story. That was the end. And it was the end because I ended on the one idea. And as soon as you end on the one idea, you move into the content. So the one idea acts as the flora between the story and the content. So if you remember, the story is like the filler that gets your reader into your nurture email. And then the content later on is where you might have your offer or you might talk about your services. So the one idea bridges the gap between the story and the content. We're going to have a look at, we're going to look at another example tomorrow when we talk about suspense. And as we, as we talk about more examples, it will become clearer and clearer to you why the one idea is so, why the one idea is so important.